Hello and welcome again to the next video in this series about NVIDIA Modulus Library, a neural network-based partial differential equation solver. In this video, I will cover the hardware requirements. Basically, I'll talk about GPUs and why a library such as NVIDIA Modulus that relies on neural networks would make use of GPUs, in fact, would have to make use of GPUs. Uh, to be the most useful. So what is a GPU? Uh, GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. But they might as well have been called Parallel Processing Units because that's what they actually emphasize. GPUs use thousands of cores to process tasks in parallel. GPUs were originally designed to accelerate rendering of 3D graphics. So you may have heard about GPUs in the context of uh, gaming. Uh, most gamers may be familiar with the term um, be because the more powerful the GPU, uh, you know, the better the rendering of the 3D graphics in that industry, in that context. However, they have also become more flexible and programmable. And today, GPUs are used not only for gaming, but also for machine learning and computational engineering tasks. And the reason is their parallel processing nature. So I want you to take that away. If you think of CPUs, think of serial processing. Whereas if you think of GPUs, think of parallel processing. It is worth to mention that a CPU may have like four, six, or eight cores, whereas a EPU may have like thousands of cores. Um, so that's the key difference that you should take away with you. A brief history of EPUs, like really super brief, uh, focused on the, uh, on the innovations that NVIDIA has come up with, uh, like around 20 years ago, at the turn of the millennium, NVIDIA was the very first company to bring GPUs into the world, uh, at least they claim to be. And about 10 years later, uh, around 2010, NVIDIA released CUDA, which is like the software layer that allows you to manipulate their hardware, their GPU hardware. Uh, so CUDA is a parallel computing programming model, uh, one way to call it, I guess. In 2012, uh, not so later, uh, we start talking about virtual GPUs, which allow you to use the, uh, a GPU to accelerate graphics in virtual machines, which, as you're going to realize, can be very useful. Uh, nowadays, as I said, GPUs have become widely used in a variety of applications and in industries, such as high-performance computing, deep learning, and even cryptocurrency mining, because, you know, in that context, um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but cryptocurrency mining involves a lot of um, math computations that can be performed in parallel, and therefore GPUs are useful in that industry as well. But back to the essence of the video in a way. Neural networks, right? NVIDIA Modulus is a neural networks-based partial differential equation solver, but why neural networks would make use of GPUs? Well, neural networks are very parallel. In fact, they are embarrassingly parallel, which is a term in the field, actually, which surprised me the first time. Another way to call it is pleasantly parallel. The point is that it's very easy to uh, transform the problems that neural networks solve into parallel computations that do not depend on each other's results, every computation. If you want to understand more about neural networks, I invite you to check out Three Blue One Brown channel. Um, he has a really really cool uh, explanation of neural networks, uh, very visual. Um, if you want to go deeper into that, now NVIDIA Modules hardware requirements um, in the documentation, you are going to see the specific hardware requirements, which is pretty much a series of GPUs. And I'm going to be focusing on, I think that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> See you in the next one for installation.